like today. We're reacting to Super Hot Fire, the rise and bizarre downfall of Deshaun Raw. I mean, it's not bizarre. He he literally deleted his videos, man. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. Like like back then when he when I was like really a fan of him, I was like what? I was like ten. I was like ten years old. My two favorite YouTubers were Deshaun Raw. It's not my two. My few favorite YouTubers is Deshaun Raw, Fred. I liked Fred when I was a kid. KYR Speedy and I think Syndicate. Syndicate, C Nanners, and then I and then everything else is just blurry. I don't know how I got to this point, but I've been watching YouTube since I was like 10 years old, 11 years old, bro. The old days. <laughs> Them old days. And Deshaun Wall was one of the funniest people, bro, until he deleted his videos. He just deleted them and that's it, bro. I don't, I don't know why this video's 15 minutes. <laughs> and he literally just deleted his videos. He made skits. He has Soulja Boy, Chris Brown in his skits, super hot fire, bro. Like, he had King Batch in his skits. Like, Bro, it was like, he was the stuff, he was the stuff. He had Fousey Tube in the skit. Like, bro. But uh, yeah, let's, let's just go, man, let's just go. Super High Fire, The Rise of Bizarre Downfall of Deshaun Raw. Deshaun Raw is fire. One of the fastest growing and unanimously beloved creators on- Him, oh, it was him and Spoken Reasons too. I forgot about Spoken Reasons. YouTube. That man, those people were fire. They were, they were the funniest people on YouTube, bro. Comedy scene. That's my childhood. <laughs> Not only were Deshaun's videos bada, bada, great for their time, pow. they've had like a lasting impact on internet culture in general. You may recall oh, yeah, that his true. reaction in the Battle Rap parody video, it's like one of the biggest gifts <laughs> that people still share today. Yes, that sir. Said, though, in recent yes, years, Deshaun's sir. relevance on YouTube has significantly dwindled. Yeah, the last time I saw him, it was in, uh, he was in Hobson Ill Mind number eight. That's Strange the last one this, I saw. It's not because people stopped caring. It's because Deshaun essentially posting, deleted like his entire gone. main channel with over 450,000 mm -hmm. subscribers in 2013. And that was huge. All the get turned. Yeah, that was my favorite video, bro. I'm turned. 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 I'm Exclusively, pretty Sean much exclusively. And quickly found himself Skits. in an oversaturated field, but it wouldn't oh. take long for him to stand out Niga amongst Higa. the vast sea of YouTube skit makers. His early videos could be described Man, as hilarious. a collection got the of shorts stussy. in which Deshaun and That's his an friends <laughs> <family> <laughs> got the the gang comedy troupe satirically mocked cultural stereotypes or trends which were popular on social media. I'm Deshaun Raw, and I'm living with the thug. Keep your guard up. <laughs> Yo, um, it was it was a uh, whatever. Let, let's let's let her play. Hey, bro, I'm just trying to show you some love, man. Yo, this I remember all that. That's how you know it's positively affecting me, bro. About the best really memories, bro. He struck a chord with audiences, and he quickly bro. found himself. He allergic to milk. That man was chugging a whole gallon. Gaining thousands of fans. <laughs> Personally, I think what made Deshaun's early content stand out was how natural the acting within the videos felt. From a viewer's perspective, the experience felt like less of a neatly packaged skit designed for YouTube clicks, and more like you were just hanging out with Deshaun and his zany friends witnessing great chemistry in a sequence friends. of organically funny moments. He clearly drunk my Slurpee, dog. <laughs> I'm the only one who got a blue Slurpee. He clearly drunk my Slurpee. Mm. Come on, man. Oh, oh. <laughs> Stone Cold Stunner. Deshaun would continue to make these yeah. topic-based skits for several months, and his channel oh, was experiencing man. steady growth. But that steady growth would turn into a viewership explosion after oh, the success crazy. of a video he created called The Rap Battle Parody. Yep, got and it wasn't five, just the video six. that got people enamored with Deshaun Raw. It was his character within the video. Super Hot Super Fire. Hot fire. Now to understand what made Super Hot Fire such a great and hilarious character, you kind of need a quick lesson on the rise of battle rapping within the YouTube sphere. You don't need that context. I'm gonna say it right now. I didn't have that context and this man had me dying on the floor. If I had the context, it would have been 10 times funnier, but I didn't. 
I was young. Maybe that's why I was dying laughing. But I still died. <laughs> I still died. You no, know I'm gonna make a video on that too. Reacting to the super high five. Whatever. I know I'm be dying laughing, bro. You like spit up. And the ultimate rap <laughs> hundreds of thousands of views. And the rap battling scene Yo, in general was seen I swear. somewhere that grassroots revival which subsequently led it to I swear, man. I got worse thought. That's when back in the day they was relevant. Away, but they, they still guys relevant. Would to but dunk on their they ain't they like they used to be. But right now the curse is broken. <laughs> I wait with the uh. electromagnetic post and I burst you open. I'm the Batman okay. from the West Coast. I'm West Coasting. Uh. If you disagree, catch a backhand like the U.S. Open. Talk to you him. You have the skin pigmentation. I'm not even listening. What he's saying? I'm just at living. <laughs> Forget it. Who cares? Odin, but you are as intimidating as Seth Rogen. Oh. And it wasn't just the lyrical content of these battles that were entertaining. It's like yeah, the WWE said. elements. Mm. Like everybody is completely over the top. Look at this 360p. <laughs> Look at this high like quality HD. 240, bro. Let's move back to Super Hot Fire. This just Super Hot Fire just is a character uh, created by Deshaun to basically parody this mm -hmm. entire Undefeated. Scene. Lost once to Soldier Boy. Super Hot is essentially the antithesis of the a stereotypical goat, greatest of all time. His lyrics don't make sense. When in a battle, he's detached what? He and spits. doesn't even really try he to spits. win. He's objectively terrible at battle rapping, and his opponents are always far more technically skilled and try their hardest to win. But regardless, Super Hot Fire always wins the battle by fire. Wait, what is this episode? I don't think and I've seen this. that's basically what makes Super Hot funny. Who is that? He doesn't give a sh and still wins every I don't think time. I've ever seen no, this episode. There was an exception with Soldier Boy. King of the internet. Oh. Um, I've been there. I've been there. Oh. Um, since Instagram, since Bathe the Nation. Win streaks. I end that. I end that. Oh. Spit, right. spit. <laughs> oh, oh, he took your glasses off. And then that's why everybody just kicked him out. Oh. I see you been whacked. Oh. <laughs> Battle rap parody videos were successful for Deshaun's yeah, channel. Uh, yeah, I that love it, man. I love that so much, man. You don't, you don't see that. I don't really see that, really, really. Like how I saw that. This man was talented, bro. And no, no, I respect. I, I subscribe to these people, but like the only people who who gets me laughing like this is maybe an RDC world. That's it. But even then, it's not like I don't know, bro. I don't know. Maybe it's the nostalgia hit, but the only people who really get me, get me laughing, bro, is this man and maybe an RDC bro, bro. Yeah, a new echelon of viewership and subscribers. But they like, elevated but like, they, these people are rare breeds, bro. These people are talented. That's hilarious, man. Considering giving him a television show, while the exact what it was considering giving him a TV a show, it would went mainstream, which. <laughs> doesn't help end well for some people. I ain't gonna lie. He did one with Chris Rock. I was like, how he get Chris Rock? He did one with Chris Rock. Even Chris Rock lost. <laughs> it was confirmed by Deshaun that, that he was crazy. With Chris Rock to create a pilot for it. At this point in his YouTube career, Deshaun had achieved something that many could only dream of. Exactly. Because the man was so was talented, bro. Like, on YouTube, nobody on YouTube had this. Super hot, hot fires. From an outsider's the perspective, skits. it seemed like, like it was just hilarious, bro. I don't channel. know, it was and just hilarious, man. Man, it was a different look, look at this, look at this, look at his face. <laughs> you can just tell he was funny. Just look at his face, bro. Like, my gosh, man. I think that's the meme was like, you're a victim. Oh, here we go, CSI. <laughs> you're a victim. Mm. Here we go, CSI. Hey, like, bro. This man. But out of nowhere, different in March breed. of 2013, Deshaun Raw deleted every single video from his channel. Man. And not only that, he recorded himself doing it. I ain't gonna lie. I'm enjoying this video. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I don't know. Well, today can't really speak. will be a very eventful day. I'm gonna let Deshaun Raw Jay Snow, ride. right? Jay Snow? I'm gonna take it all back. Why ain't he just pirated, bro? Come on. Right there. That's history, bro. That's history. This is old prime YouTube, bro. Everything. Personality, traits, everything. Me, man. Deshaun Raw, man. Me. So, you know, Sean for Raw. Me, man. Now I gotta take it back because it's, it's starting to seem like, you know what I mean? Tell, tell them what you're taking back. Come on, man. Okay, okay, okay. We taking the hits back. Who got to work? Leroy. No, man. 
Only Ones, Mixtape DJ, Rap Battle Parody 5, you know how that go. This is real. I'm gonna tell you, the thing, just the presentation real is what got me in Hollywood, you feel me? I mean, the whole channel got me in Hollywood, but uh. I Man, Hollywood is still on YouTube, bro. <laughs> Only 29 videos? Man, I didn't even know it was that short. I thought he had at least 100 in there. I remember he did he did try to do a season two. He tried to do a season two. Man, that's history, bro. This man was hilarious. This man was hilarious. I think it was that Leroy episode with the milk thing. Let's go. Who should I be sorry to? That raspy voice. <laughs> Man, if he would have left it up, I know he would have blew up a second, a third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh time, bro. Man. TV offers. I can't do no better than I did on YouTube. If I stay on there, they're just going to be mad. So I got to go. TV. I ain't going to lie. I don't Who watches TV? You watch TV? Well, for whoever seen it, don't care you. If they didn't see it, well, then they didn't see it. Yo, I ain't never seen it. Who cares about TV, man? Man, it is a different time. Different time. Oh my God. You just got 500,000. Deleted it. 500,000 back then is practically like. I ain't gonna say. I don't know. Because <laughs> I don't know. Because I was a kid. I don't know. What's it like? I was just I very lie. recently made aware but of this people video. Knew. And people I gotta knew. be honest with you, the first time I saw it, my jaw, like, exactly. Hit the, the gravity of what Deshaun does in like, this come clip on, is man. That's essentially deleting his entire YouTube career earned from close to two years of hard work with exactly. one mouse. Exactly. On March 19th, Deshaun would yeah, upload. Yeah, that just his shows interview. how fragile YouTube is. Like, it used to be going like that from you, from, from, from YouTube. From somebody else, it, it could be Dante gone like that, too. man. Like, crazy. His recently purged channel. In the interview, Deshaun explains that his Comedy Central pilot deal was rejected, leading to frustration. Additionally, he explains... Who cares? Forget Comedy Central, man. He was fed up with man. being pigeonholed as a YouTuber, and he wanted to become more of a traditional comedian doing stand-up comedy. What? I wanted to do stand up. All the comedians, well, not all the comedians, but a lot of comedians coming to YouTube. Joe Rogan podcast on YouTube built that up. Kevin Hart doing the LOL network thing on, on YouTube. Uh, I think, I think, uh, who else? I don't know, bro, but a lot of people going to YouTube now. And he, that's what this is your tip. This was this. Oh, gosh, man. Oh, my gosh, man. This is. This was his territory, building it up, bro. He had the attention of Chris Rock. Got him on a YouTube video, bro, in 2013, bro. Yo, Justin Bieber is just pulling up to YouTube videos just for free advertisement now. Chris, oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. This is, oh my gosh. He's got Soulja Boy up in this, yo. Soulja Boy got a Twitch channel. So the boy got a Twitch channel. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> T. Grizzly got a Twitch channel. Quando Rondo got a Twitch channel. Who else? Who else got a Twitch channel? Polo G was in. Polo G and King Von, R.P. King Von, was in um Z's video on YouTube for advertisement. YouTube is powerful, bro, and oh man, he just deleted that, man. YouTube is so powerful, especially today. But back then, I get it, I get it, but yo, the power of YouTube, he would've just not deleted it. I know his videos would've been in the recommendations, like, constantly. Oh, man. And I can't get on, so I'm like, I'm gonna get off, and I'm gonna just be great at something else. Please tell me I suck. Please, somebody tell me I suck. I'm the best, I'm the funniest nigga alive. Now, everybody, please tell me I'm not that so I can do that. Look at his face. There's nothing else to do for me. You feel me? I do what I want. Where can the people see you at? Like, because I just seen you just raised some of your videos. Man, he should have had an Instagram and IG. Twitter. You can't tell me I'm not the funniest on stage. But if you do, you right. You feel me? I was the funny I was the funniest on YouTube. Exactly. Bar night. You 
just send me an email. There is no booking limit. There is no for talking to me. Email. At gmail.com. Gmail. One dollar. You feel me? And that's you know, that's ripping y'all off. Come on, man. YouTube for free. So y'all you know, gotta pay a hundred percent more to get me. But that's where it started off. You YouTube for a free. If you would have kept it up, he would have got paid. M's. Not M's. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Overwhelmingly hit with dislikes from the viewers, oh, and it received man. dozens of angry comments criticizing Deshaun for his decision to remove the videos. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I kind of agree with the sentiment of many of these commenters. I mean, why delete the videos? At least un. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, I don't, I it makes going. no sense to just completely nuke your entire channel. I but totally in 20 it's tw it's a different timing bro if he if he had the knowledge today and still did it he's dumbish <laughs> he's dumb he's dumbish yo but i don't know man i don't You're know wanting like, to escape that you know the YouTube money just the money of just media but i see his memes everywhere was like memes of videos that i have never out. seen before that literally me myself have never <laughs> seen before and memes on like twitter on instagram his on other platforms made down the toilet that's why he got popular in the first place. Exactly. But I guess during the state of mind that he was in at the time of the deletion, this was a sacrifice he was willing to make to escape the pressure that he felt. I have a hunch that Deshaun may have he's actually in the, he's in the he was in the YouTuber thing and back then being a YouTuber even today being a YouTuber is not that it's not that, you know. You're a YouTuber. Like you still put a label. You're an influencer. Like of the deleted videos on a new channel at a later but still, date. These videos you have on millions Sean of Ross people following you would never get the Kylie Jenner has a okay, let me just let me stop it. But she has a YouTube channel, bro. And she hides her likes and dislikes. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> they once had. You don't mess with this channel uh, has been since buried in the algorithm. Man. With rips being uploaded like that by channel. random YouTube users being prioritized I'm probably react to that channel. in the algorithm. Mm -hmm. Aside from a brief return that, in 2014, the Deshaun was pretty much done yeah, for like season two. original YouTube I remember content that. at this point in his career, and he would go MIA on the platform for the next several years. During this time away, Man. Deshaun went full steam ahead with stand-up comedy. Oh, for Before real? Man, but that's not, that's not... Come on, man. Legend that doesn't matter. Like, that doesn't matter. YouTube people, where the audience and the viewership is growing, instead of having a finite of people who's gonna see your shit. Come on, bro. Oh man. His stand-up career never truly blossomed in the way that he hoped it would. In 2018, oh, Deshaun would be seen on YouTube again, but not in skits. I'm not a rapper. He was rapper. featured in a handful of interviews with other YouTube creators. I'm not a rapper. In an interview with Jeremy Look at Peck, this OG. Deshaun reflects on his, his decision goat. to leave YouTube and also talks about his experience with stand-up comedy. When did you decide to take down all of your stand videos? Because I remember comedy. there was a point where you mm -hmm. took everything down. Who, was that a decision today that- today really getting popping, like popular, popular from stand-up comedy? Like- Come on, bro. I see Gus Johnson getting comedy show, I mean, comedy uh, central stuff. Maybe uh, I don't know if Caleb Silly City doing something. I see RDC World getting re getting like reacted to by like LeBron and AD. Like what? Getting getting like been their videos are moving. Kind of, like, to I got decision like, like yeah. even LeBron saw. <laughs> even LeBron like come on, like come on. YouTube is powerful, bro. YouTube is powerful. And then you just decided Twitter is powerful. Instagram is powerful. I all my videos originally actually to start doing stand up. It was my first love, my first dream, the first thing I really wanted to do, and I went to stand up and I was not I was not good. And so I came back to the skit. <laughs> you changed clothes, dirt off your shoulders, and then yeah. you came back. And now it's I feel territory. Like I'm seasoned, and I put out my first special. Now that I have Derange, I have a bar. Mm. So I listen to Derange like at least once a week. And when I write new jokes, I say, okay, if it's not as funny as Derange, then it's, scrappy. it's scrappy. I give Derange like a B as far as stand up. It's like a B, B plus. So that's the Carter one. Hmm, Deshaun okay. has become somewhat elusive in the last couple of years. It appears that he's still doing stand-up comedy. But I think it goes right. without saying that his current creative endeavors aren't making anything close to the splash that his original YouTube channel made. Because it's a fine of people. Of where we're at Even though the there is a camera and it's probably going somewhere, it's going to a channel with like fine subscribers, 
<laughs> with their with their with their brand label on it, like we got the Sean Rock. I don't know, Deshaun's something like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> to with their ad to their Instagram or Twitter or something, and it's getting like 10, 15 k views, probably off. maybe fifty k, hundred k max. Like, of fans but it's not gonna, gonna be like watch this, his videos bro. when he left. And there were no signs of his channel dying out anytime soon. But due to his own the funniest personal person creative like aspirations and ego, he walked away now from the it all. the funniest people to me in. is Gus Johnson and RDC. Wood. One of the most bizarre That's fashions it. I've seen. The most funny to me. Who do like skits and comedies? Those are the only two people I really see. Of a popular Maybe a Caleb a City. Channel, you know? Willing to delete all of their videos just That's, to get away from This, this will make people sweat. <laughs> Nowadays, like 2020, YouTubers? Yo, he deleted what? He deleted <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> I guess the only way we'll ever Man. really know is if, like, somehow I'm able to get an interview with him. And if that's the case, I'll definitely share that with you guys. But Different. that's pretty much the story there. Dang, I actually Anyways, enjoy God. this, bro. What's your name again? I gotta make sure I know your name, bro. I'm gonna subscribe too. What? You probably got more stories like this. Guys, let me know what you thought about this down below in the comment section and let me know who or what you want me to talk about next. I want to give a major All shout right. out to my Yo. patrons. I appreciate you guys. Shout Maybe out patrons, out. bro. Peace. Killing it. Killing it. This was actually great. I can't lie. That was entertaining, bro. The way he presented it, using all that, like the clips and stuff. I messed with that, bro. I can't lie. I, like, 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 yo, that was actually like great. I don't know. I don't know. I liked it a lot. I don't know if it was because it was about Deshaun Raw, which I'm very like, bro, that's my childhood though. Like, Deshaun Raw is a part of my childhood, bro. Like, man, that's crazy. That's crazy, bro. He deleted everything. I remember it. I was like, where'd he go? Where'd he go? A kid saying that, bro. A kid, where Deshaun Raw at, man? I want to watch the Get Turn video again. Because I used to just watch the Super Hot Fire series before I started watching the skits. And the get turn video with the, you got a baby, got a baby boo, bag. <laughs> a baby boo bag, a baby boo bag, bro. Man, just different, bro. Just different. But uh, yeah, that was just YouTube. That's just YouTube, man. YouTubers come and go. YouTubers come and go, man. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm out. Like, subscribe. Have a fantastic day. Subscribe to Wavy Web Surf. You know what I'm saying? That was a fire video. Subscribe. Oh, I would say subscribe to Deshaun Raw. Subscribe to Deshaun Raw. Watch some old videos. Watch what people be like. Filthy Frank is old prime YouTube. I feel like Deshaun Raw is like it's like old prime YouTube to me. 2016. 2016 is a blur for me. Uh, see you later. Bye. Have a great day. <laughs>